ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Ray here, your boy with a cornbread accent, welcoming you to this week's edition of Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. Also, Happy New Year's to everybody. Appreciate you folks tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, what I do is every Tuesday I ask five questions, all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling. If you're entertained by this or like playing along, tune in every week. Uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know how you did, and be a champ by pressing that subscribe button. Now with all that out of the way, let's let it rip. All right, question number one, since it is actually January 2nd, but, you know, it is the new year, let's ask a New Year's question. What WCW personality was born January 1st, 1970? Was it A, Chris Canyon, B, Marcus Buff Bagwell, or C. Kimberly Page. All right, question number one was, what WCW personality was born on January 1st, 1970? Was it A. Chris Canyon, B. Buff Bagwell, or C, Kimberly Page? The answer is C, Kimberly Page. Yes, uh, the ex-wife of Diamond Dallas Page, which probably one of the reasons that uh, he was a hero to many of people because he got to go home with that every night. Uh, but, yeah, she was definitely hot back in the day. I think i seen a recent picture of her. Still looks pretty good. Anyway, let's go to question number two. So back in 2010, uh, TNA Wrestling decided to kind of change up their one of their pay-per-view uh, names to honor the ECW. Uh, what was the name of the TNA pay-per-view that honored ECW? Was it A, Hardcore Justice, B, Extreme Justice, or C, Forever Hardcore? Number two again was, what was the name of the TNA pay-per-view that honored ECW? Was it A, Hardcore Justice, B, Extreme Justice, or C, Hardcore Forever? The answer is A, Hardcore Justice. Uh, yes, they wanted to uh, try to make some money if, if they could on the ECW name, sort of. Uh, of course, you know, everybody knows uh, WWE did a documentary, Rise of Fall of ECW, had a uh, ECW reunion pay-per-view, uh, one night only, or something like that. Um, and, uh, of course, Shane Douglas and the crew uh, did their own, there's a documentary called Hardcore Forever. Uh, Shane Douglas ran like a little promotion with uh, basically all the ECW guys that WWE didn't pick up. When WWE relaunched ECW, uh, so you know after all that faded away, basically TNA trying to swoop in and suck on that teeth a little more, uh, trying to milk that cow a little more. That sounds better, uh, and that's how you, they went from this hard justice to hardcore justice in honor of ECW. Let's go to question number three. All right. Uh, Question number three, who was Tommy Dreamer's partner in this match with Shane Douglas and Brian Lee at the November to Remember 1996? Was it A, Steve Dr. Death Williams, B, Kathis Jack, or C, Terry Funk? Question number three again, who was Tommy Dreamer's partner in his match with Shane Douglas and Brian Lee at the November November to Remember 96? Was it A, Steve Williams, B, Cactus Jack, or C, Terry Funk? Of course, it is C, Terry Funk. Uh, usually, if Tommy Dreamer needed a partner, Terry Funk was always there. Uh, I believe, I forgot what year it was, a couple of years later, three years later, uh, they had a brief little feud over that, 
because uh, Tommy Dreamer uh, decided to take Jake, Jake Roberts as a partner. Uh, Cherry Funk kind of spills about it. Uh, there was actually one time, too, where I believe it was Tommy Dreamer and a mystery partner against Taz. I want to say Rob Van Dam. Uh, no, who was it? It was Taz and somebody. Might not might not have been Rob Van Dam. Gosh, who was it? Anyway, it goes over my head. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, Tommy Dreamer did pick Steve Doctor Death Williams because Taz sweated him. He was the only man Taz sweated. So. That's the reason I kind of throw that Steve Williams curve, see if anybody remembers that moment. Anyway, let's go to question number four. All right, question number four. Who did William Regal defeat at the 2002 Royal Rumble for to win the WWF at the time Intercontinental Championship? Was it A, Chris Jericho, B, Rob Van Dam, or C, Edge? Question number four again. Who did William Regal defeat at the 2002 Royal Rumble to win the Intercontinental Championship? Was it A, Chris Jericho, B, Rob Van Dam, or C, Edge? The answer is C, Edge. Yes, this event took place at the Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. It was actually there at that event. Uh, now it's called State Farm Arena. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yes, that was actually a pretty good show. Uh, actually, Mr. Perfect and Goldust returned for the Royal Rumble that year. Uh, of course, Triple H wound up winning that year's Royal Rumble and faced Chris Jericho for the Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. Uh, but yeah, it was actually a pretty good event. All right, main event question time. And yes, I'm going back to those uh, PWI year-end edition awards. Who was Pro Wrestling Illustrated Wrestler of the Year in 1983? Was it A, Ric Flair, B, Harley Race, or C, Dusty Rhodes? All right, main event, question number five again. Who was Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Wrestler of the Year 1983? Was it A, The Nature Boy, Ric Flair? Was it B, Handsome Harley Race? Or was it C, The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes? And the answer is B, Harley Race. Uh, I believe this was his second time winning that. I believe so. Then after that, I think Ric Flair had a run of I think he's won Pro Wrestle of the Year on PWI more than anyone. Uh, of course, it's Rick Effin Flair. But uh, if anybody catches the new Iron Claw movie, uh, they didn't do him any justice in that movie. <laughs> the guy playing him didn't do a good job. Uh, I'll say a notch below the guy playing Rick Flair. Did anybody else go see the movie Iron Claw? Uh, if you did, hey, check out my review on this page. Uh, anyway, as far as this week's Wrestling Trivia Tuesday, I, we're right, we're running right out of time. So tune in next week for five more questions, uh, all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling. Appreciate you folks listening. Like I said, if you're entertained, like it, be a champ, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how you did. Until next week, you folks have a good one and take it easy. Thank you for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. And of course, this is the part where I ask you, if you're not a subscriber yet, to click on that subscribe button, leave a like, also share with friends. And if you want to follow me on social media, on Twitter, X, it's at RRPATRPTV46. On Facebook, it's this Ronald Ray. And yes, I need to turn in my man card because I do have a TikTok. 
Uh, my, you can find me on TikTok at RP2Vision. As always, you have a good one and take it easy.